I and I bike in the building again. No matter what. Quando Rondo. Let's talk about it. So listen, man, Quando Rondo, biking this shit again. You got Sean Willis, don't know who this really is. I don't think this person is really that important in the rap game at this moment. But for some reason, Quando Rondo was able to allow this person to get some shine. Willis, if you know what I mean, did that, hit that like button, and listen, the plot, I'm just going to get straight to the point, I'm going to tell you what I heard, Quando Rondo, for some reason, deleted, well, I ain't going to say he deleted anything because, you know, on these stories, on the IG stories, Facebook stories, shit like that, it's going to delete itself, right? So from what I heard, Quando Rondo put up in his story on IG and said something about, uh, he got a big viral stories about the hit. And so, you know, a little shortly after that, boom this story hit but here's the thing i want to say on that to the person who gave out that info sean willis says that this shit happened like a month ago you did what i'm saying so by this happening like a month ago i don't think that adds up to the story little thing you know but anyway back to the program at hand i just wanted to get that out of the way just in case you know a lot of y'all did hear about that little thing about the story being deleted and all that stuff that just don't add up to you know because some things be happening and going on behind the scenes and it be you know f for a minute before we realize it and then boom it hit the net and we think it just happened yesterday and it, it don't be like that you feel me and so nobody you know confirmed anything about you know how long this happened or how long ago or whatever but i'm going i'm sticking with shine with us on this one all right it happened about a month ago you did hit the like button real quick so what i don't understand is about Sean Willis is that doing her little rant or her little explanation about what happened or what took place you tried to put in there about how Quando Rondo be so high how he be so lit that he can't even really hardly remember anything that right there was a red flag for one or two reasons let me give you two reasons hit the like button For one, dude, anytime you put out how high somebody be in your explanation before you even explain what's going on, right? According to them accusing you of something. Right there out the back, you trying to, you know, give out a reason why this person's memory bank it's not there and why this person may be accusing you out of the ordinary because they be so high they mind ain't up so that's the first red flag second red flag is it's actually three red flags i'm gonna give you three of them second red flag is the fact that 
you putting it out there how high this person be and you took advantage of that highness you took advantage it's like you 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 knew when to take advantage oh this motherfucker be so high to take this nigga shit get the fuck up out of here this nigga want to be so uh so this and that and take that and you see what i'm saying so you you decided you were going to take advantage so basically you letting the music industry know what type of person you are and this is the and i think you caught on to that that's the reason why you say you know normally you a pretty cool person whatever until somebody cross you but taking 10 bands out of somebody's hands that's a little you know i don't care how cool you usually be that means if any misunderstanding take place around any of you know other artists producers whatever whatever you won't take it upon yourself to take some shit so regardless of you explaining the fact that you normally a cool person you still took 10 bands that's a scary thing to somebody who want to do business with you. Like, is this motherfucker going to decide to take something from me? If there's a misunderstanding. So that right there in itself, is that explanation right there ain't good enough. Third red flag. So y'all thought I forgot. Hit that like button. Just for the fact that I kept my memories. how in the hell do you snitch on yourself what the hell is wrong with y'all you snitched on yourself and told the world oh i ain't steal nothing i robbed that nigga what you need to take them 10 bands and decide what you're going to do with that for the rest of your life. Because any fool that does business with you in the music business, I don't think they'll be using their conscious mind in, the, in, in that situation. You actually got online and told everybody in the world that you robbed a nigga for 10 bands. It's a sad story in the, in, 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 in the field out here, I'm telling you. It's the reason why a lot of real dudes are scared to be in the field because you got a lot of goofies in the field doing goofy shit, bringing heat to the real ones. Now, I don't condone anybody doing any crime, but I do condone survival. And when a motherfucker bring heat to your survival, you have to find you another way. There's too many goofies in the game. That was some goofy shit. I don't give a damn how hard you feel like yourself or how hard do you feel like you and your crew or how sufficient or, or, or how, no, you ain't none of that at this point. I don't care what happened. Okay, let's bring it down to the bottom line of this. Y'all was in a dice game. He started flipping that because the nigga was high. Damn, homie, you couldn't get a nigga a pass on that one? Damn, blood hiding a motherfucker. What the fuck? He high as hell. Hey, man, y'all just chill out, man. He high as hell, man. Y'all tripping. He ain't gonna remember this to bar. Okay. The man didn't even bring up a dice game. And as you say, he be so high, he don't remember nothing in the next 20 minutes. The man didn't even bring up a dice game. I don't know. Was that on purpose or did he remember the dice game? But he do remember you taking that out of his girl hand or did somebody have to tell him that you took it out of his girl hand? Thing is, bro. Dice game. Just hanging out in the park. No matter what it was. You still got offended by somebody who was high as hell took advantage, ran off, now, my fault, 
my fourth red flag in this and that's a bonus hit the like button where in the hell was Quando Rondo's uh, entourage, security, homies, big dogs, little dogs, steppers, while 10 bands was running away from this man? What the hell was y'all doing? Please explain that. That's flag number four. What's going on? Now, Truthfully, honestly, I don't know what else to say. In the fact that, uh, now, okay, do y'all want to know if Quando Rondo is still an upstanding? Listen, Quando Rondo, he cool and everything, but I don't think he's a stepper like that. You know what I'm saying? Quando Rondo might be a mistaken stepper. You know what I'm saying? Type of dude that, uh, do something to let the homies know I'm still down with you. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't no hunter. And I'm not condoning no hunters. I'm really not. I'm just saying for what I see and what it is. But at the same time, Shine Willis seemed like one of the ones that, uh, you, know, you ain't all the way that neither. You just took advantage of somebody who you felt like wasn't that already. And plus he hiding, plus he probably selling out on his hideness. Yeah, I'm finna take that. Show the world. You feel me? Kind of sort of like what old girl did to Bootsy when Bootsy, you know, was going to sign a little chick or whatever and chick ran off and started talking about how Bootsy was trying to kill her and how, you know what I'm saying? How Bootsy was treating dudes around him and how they his slaves and you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like the same vibe. Like, okay, you brought it to the internet. And that's another thing, too. Flag number five. Hit the like button. You claim Quando Rondo ain't that because he brought it to the internet. But we got your side of the story from the internet. What? I'm like King Yellow on this one. Make it make sense. Like, what the hell? You mean to tell me? I ain't even finna explain that. Y'all heard it already. So y'all, y'all, man, look, I ain't really got too much to say about this situation other than the fact that Quando Rondo need to, uh, if him being high is the reason why this got, this happened to him, Man, come on, bro. You need to bring a you need to bring a better surroundings to you because ten bands ain't had no business running from your sight. Ten bands shouldn't have made it five feet from you, bro. I'm just being honest. I don't care what type of person you are. If you' supposed to be that dude, that bad for your people. And your peoples around you supposed to be steppers. Ten bands had no business stepping five feet away from you, bro. Let alone out the door and out of there. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Quando, do better. Uh, Shine Willis. You ain't finna make it in the industry like that. A goofy, only a fucking goofy. Or somebody who think they, they can handle the biz. Oh, she hot right now. And you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get her a couple of songs in. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way they'll try to sign you in. You know what I'm saying? And it won't even be a full signature. It'll just be a let's try and see what's going on with her. You feel me? Because you're going to have to do a little more than that little clown show right there to make it in this music industry anyway. I ain't never heard no song from you. I ain't even looked you up. I don't think I want to. I'm just saying. Hey, man. I and I, I'm out this bit, man. Y'all wildin'.